some things that I want to talk about before we kind of wrap up here, and a real com key component to our uh, presentation is uh, seven key tactics for corporate BI success. And these are just seven. There literally could be, you know, 15, 20, 30 up here. Uh, so, you know, don't think that these seven things are what we're going to need to be successful because there's, there's more than that. But these are really things that we see inside of organizations that are extremely important to really step uh, forward with a great corporate BI strategy. Um, the first thing that we see is, uh, and, and that we recommend, do not boil the ocean. Um, you know, think about your roadmap and your strategy. Think about your business needs. We all want to get to that point of cross-operational insight, and we can get there. Uh, but we don't want to deploy everything at once. It's too much. It's too much to coordinate. It's too many resources to coordinate. Um, you know, so let's let's create a good roadmap and let's put a strategy together. Let's deploy finance and then let's deploy HR or whatever the case may be. Something else to kind of take a look at here is. You know, many companies are out there and they're deploying maybe a new ERP system or they're, they're migrating to a, a newer version of an ERP system and maybe they've made the decision to deploy the analytic applications. And um, if you're making that decision to deploy the analytic applications at the same time that you're deploying your ERP system, that's okay, it's challenging, but let's not deploy everything at the same time of that ERP system because it will be very challenging and chances are it will not be successful. So, you know, my point there, let's just not boil the ocean. Let's create a good strategy, a great roadmap, um, get the business together, get a good sponsorship committee, committee who helps make the decisions for the organization to help truly understand what's important, what do we need first, what's, what's our priority as a business. The next point here is sponsorship, and this is ultimately, ultimately important. Um, we need to have great sponsorship inside both the business and inside IT that are prepared and partnered together to really drive the strategy forward. Um, you know, this is just the things that we've been hearing uh, for many, many years, but sponsorship is ultimately important. It's very interesting inside our organization, the number of um, projects that we kickstart. And, uh, you know, as I'm, you know, getting ready to kickstart that project and I ask who are the sponsors. Sometimes companies don't know, or sometimes somebody on the business side is the technical sponsor, or, you know, and, and just those roles and responsibilities become very difficult to delineate, and sponsorship is ultimately the key to a, a good, successful BI strategy. Uh, the third point here, role definition. Uh, so as you're embarking on your BI strategy and you're embarking on your sponsorship committees and, and determining your projects and your roadmap, make sure everybody truly understands what they're accountable for, what, they're, what their part of the project is creating a good matrix of roles and responsibilities that you can always go back to. Do that at the front, right? So when we're in the midst of gathering requirements, we know who's going to sign off on those requirements, or we know whose job it is to, to gather the details of those requirements or documents, or whatever the case may be. So ultimately important uh, is good roles and responsibilities inside of your uh, corporate PI strategy. Um, user adoption, very key. And I'm sure that you know we've all uh, maybe purchased a BI tool um, or tried to implement a BI tool in the past and, and sometimes that user adoption piece, we just don't focus as much on it as we need to. And it's it's extremely important part. Um, at BI Consulting Group, we truly believe in bringing the business, this is BI, business intelligence, right? Let's bring the business into this project. Let's get their feedback throughout the entire spectrum of the project. As we're building our solutions, Let's get them involved. And so we believe in uh, bringing them throughout the whole entire project. Throughout the build stage, we do what we call user reviews. We like to do those user reviews every two to three weeks. And so the business, we may not be done, right? The first two to three weeks in, we're not going to be showing this glamorous dashboard, but we're showing a start. And you know that just really um, takes people's mind, business minds, and you get a lot of, wouldn't it be great if we could, or wouldn't it be great if we could do that? And that's great inside of BI, because now we have a learning, and we have conditional formatting, and we've really, we're taking that information, we're taking that knowledge, and we're making it so we can actually utilize it inside of our organization. Um, you know, next point, uh, inside of user adoption here real quick, I had mentioned that BICG has a tool called Identity. Uh, we are firm believers in uh, taking your BI application and making it look like any other application inside your organization, making it look like your intranet. Um, BI should be pervasive, and uh, your end users should just go into this like they go into their uh, intranet on a daily basis and, and analyze content and information uh, to enable them to better do their jobs. 
Um, utilizing experience system integrator. Uh, so, of course, me as a system integrator, I'm going to say that right. But, um, you know, making sure that you have somebody who really knows who's going to take you down this path and, uh, you know, educating you along the way and, and making sure those things that need to be part of your strategy, user adoption, roles and responsibilities, partnership, sponsorship, you know, work with somebody who's done it at many different companies and, and seen what works and what doesn't work and developed best practices on how to, to make this work and, and make this function. Um, so that's really kind of a key piece there. Uh, validation, um, you know, Brad had brought up the example with the Excel spreadsheets and everybody coming into meetings with uh, different data results. And uh, data is ultimately the key here. And if the data is not accurate or correct, your user adoption will be zero. So take the time, build it into your plan uh, on testing and validation, bringing the business involved, getting business sign off during testing and validation to ensure that you have accurate, great content and information. Also, having the business accountable. So once it's signed off, having somebody in the business own that data. So when it is wrong or if it is invalid at some point, that there is accountability there. It's a key piece. Um, finally, no shortcuts. So you know, take the time and, and develop a good key strategy. Because if any of these pieces are missing, it's, it's, you, you've made a huge investment, and chances are it's not going to be successful. And you really, you've got one time to, to get out of the gate. And uh, many times, when you get out of the gate, you want it to have a great splash. And uh, maybe if it doesn't have a great splash, it's hard to get that splash during the second or third release of the tool so, or, or the analytic application. So those are just some key uh, BI strategies uh, for your corporate BI strategy. There's a variety of others. And uh, if any of you would like to continue on this conversation, we certainly would like uh, the, the opportunity to do that.